Hey everyone, I'm Rob in VR, and welcome to VR Review, my weekly virtual news wrap-up. Brought to you by McCunks VR. Unlock the power of spatial learning in virtual reality. First up, Stereo Labs announced their Z Stereo camera that claims to give full positional tracking to the Gear VR. Right now, mobile headsets like the Gear and Google Cardboard only have rotational head tracking, meaning things like leaning or moving around can't be detected. The Z camera changes all that and apparently works inside as well as outdoors. Oculus has applied for a patent for a VR movement system for mobile VR. This isn't a head tracking system, but appears to be a hand tracking camera in a series of motion gestures. It's hard to say how this is any different than a leap motion system, other than the fact there's an image of an external camera that tracks your shoulder movements. This has me shrugging too. Palma Lucy points to Sony in defending Oculus exclusives, saying you see Sony investing in their content the same way. Oculus has been taking a lot of heat over using hardware digital rights management to break the popular Revive project that lets HTC Vive owners play Oculus Rift games. He went on to say, The reality is I can see where it's painful for some people, but that doesn't mean it's bad for the VR industry, or that it's fragmenting it, or in the long run it's not the right way for the ecosystem to work. Personally, I think it's odd to hear a computer peripheral manufacturer compare itself to a game console like this. Sort of like it would be normal to have games exclusive to Samsung monitors. Valve co-founder Gabe Newell had responded to Oculus exclusivity by saying, We're for open systems, obviously. I think consumers and developers are pretty sophisticated nowadays and know what is in their best interest long term. I also think there are going to be a lot of companies building VR systems, which will make it really unlikely that anyone will be able to get away with a closed system. On Friday, Oculus removed the DRM restrictions blocking the Revive project and stated, We continually revise our entitlement and anti-piracy systems. And in the June update, we've removed the check for Rift hardware from the entitlement check. We won't use hardware checks as part of DRM on PC in the future. So maybe they're starting to come around. Steam's infamous summer sale is on now through July 4th, with over 100 VR games and discounts as high as 80% off and prices as low as a dollar. Standouts for the Vive include Vanishing Realms and Hover Junkers, with Elite Dangerous and Titans of Space 2 for the Rift. McCunks VR, platform for building memory palaces and virtual reality. Memory palaces use organized information and mnemonics in a spatial framework to let you learn huge amounts of information in a short time with full retention. Unlock the power of spatial learning in VR with McCunks. For more information, visit McCunks.com or join their Kickstarter campaign. Okay, that's all the news I have for this week. Subscribe to my channel and like the video. If you think I missed a big story, let me know in the comments and maybe I can add it into next week's show. Have a good one.